What was the toughest thing about doing Black Panther for you? For me, it was, it was the fact that as a person of African descent, this searching for what my real culture is, living that and believing that space and showing that on screen and, and you know, just being able to give that to an audience to say that I, I know so much about my past, I know so much about my history, which I, you know, as, a, as an African American, I've searched for that my entire life, huh. mm. but but to be a person that didn't have to search mm. for it, what do you it mean was you given searched? to me. What do you mean you mm. searched for that your whole life? Meaning you only you, being able to go so far back. Yeah, being able go, to go, where go so far back. When people say, you know, El Salvador, yeah. or you name a country, you know exactly where you say Texas. Yeah, <laughs> you yeah, know yeah, that's yeah. as far back as we can go. Yeah, you know, the, or what? having that is something that you're like, oh, not only do we. Do we, we val not only do I know, but I value it. Like there's a certain patriotism to something that has never been lost, it's ancient. Mm. <laughs> and being able to hold on to that, it, it was something that throughout the movie, I was like, wow, mm. the weight of that is something that I have to convey to the world because you could do that movie and it's a parody of that idea. Mm. And, and that is insulting. Mm. And so I think, for me was constantly wanting to convey that this is real because it is. You know, for me, it was just one of those things where I was like, we want to make a superhero movie, but that's not the most important thing here. Mm. And people will, will love the superhero movie if this other thing, if they mm. get this other thing from it. I never thought wow. I would see a studio say, yeah, we're gonna put the money behind this movie with all, well, the, basically, you know, mostly a black cast. Yeah. Sometimes we have, we, we as African Americans, we have the black version. Mm -hmm. And it's, not, it's never as good. It's never, they, they never put as much into it. And so it made me, you know, more idealistic. And I think that's aspirational for not just myself, but for other people and not just in film, but in you know, other arenas. Did you think the odds were against you growing up in South Carolina? It, it wasn't even a possibility. Like, it, you know, there, there was nobody. My brother actually was into the arts. He was, he did musical theater, he danced. And so because he did that, I think I saw it as a possibility. But other than him, nobody around me saw that as, as a you know, viable mm. career. I think you should only do it if you if you love it because it's not all the glitz and glamour people think it is. It's it's really a blue collar job, huh. and um, you work overtime, you sweat, you get hurt. Mm -hmm. You're an athlete. You're you're everything that is necessary, and you're pulling from things that most people don't usually deal with. You're dealing with political parts of your reality, social parts of your reality, race in a way people don't have to deal with, gender in a way people don't have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. And I think you have to want to go through that struggle. And, and I feel the same way about my work at that point in time as I do when my movie makes a hundred million dollars. Or, or a billion. Or a billion. <laughs> <laughs>